When you're firing TNT cannons, you might notice some strange changes in the way that the TNT is aiming, even though you didn't even move the water. This is because there's a mechanic that can cause certain TNT cannons to switch their aim every shot when you're semi-autoing. This is called TNT alternating, and today I'm going to show you how it works and some examples of cannons that take advantage of it to cover wider areas. And if you find this interesting, be sure to subscribe. Now this concept can best be shown through this small little thing I built. Over here I just have a single dispenser and it's linked up to a semi-auto simulator clock. Let's just pretend that this is a TNT cannon. Now observe. First, a piece of TNT spawns, pretty self-explanatory. Then, another piece of TNT spawns near it, but this TNT has a longer fuse time since it just spawned. When the first piece of TNT blows up, the second one gets blasted towards one of the sides, and this is going to influence the next shot to shoot at an angle. But before that TNT blows up, another piece of TNT is going to spawn. And now this process is just going to keep looping like this until you turn off the cannon, and that's what causes certain cannons to alternate their aim. Naturally, this works best on TNT cannons that have much of their power spawn in the middle of the cannon instead of the edges, since the middle TNT is the one that gets moved. The TNT also needs to have free space to move left or right, so it's not going to work on a cannon like this where it's just kind of stuck in place. So, knowing these things, let's build an example of an alternating cannon. First, I'm going to start off by building a suspicious shape, then place redstone, then use the redstone you place to stack dispensers on top of it, place some blocks on the side, and just continue building the front like a normal shotgun cannon. Finally, all we gotta do is just put the water and our two levers. All right, we're done. Now let's see what happens when I semi-auto it. The first shot is normal, but then you start to see that it begins to alternate its aim left and right, and it's gonna give you a much wider coverage area. Now, although the change is already noticeable, TNT alternating is much more visible on wider cannons. See, take a look at this big fence cannon. Now, in the state that it's currently in, it's not going to alternate because no matter what direction the middle TNT is blasted, you see it's always flowing to the middle, so it can't be like this. However, if I switch the water flow outwards instead, you can see that all the TNT in the middle is now just getting blasted into a corner and it's staying there, so that's going to work. And because there's a lot of middle TNT getting blasted, it's going to influence the aim of the cannon way more. It's also worth noting that naturally, the cannon can have a much more skewed aim because of how much wider it is compared to a small cannon. Let's take a look. And I can guarantee, if you didn't notice the effect before, you can definitely see it now. So now you know all about TNT alternating. If you noticed some strange behavior in the way your TNT was shooting when you semi-autoed, this is probably why. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and like this video for more TNT content. I hope you had a good holiday. Thanks for watching.